Hello, Eileen Drury. <laughs> Glenn, Glenn, yes, send him in. about you not coming to France. I'll need you to give Teddy Sheringham some moral counselling. No, I've had enough. You and the players never give me any encouragement. Encouragement? Hmm. Oh, all right, then. Come on, Olivia. No, it's too late. My mind's made up. Players! Who's going to look after their spiritual welfare? Don't worry, I've already sorted out some replacements for me. And you know you can always trust my judgement. Oh, it's great to be back. Tonight we'll be recreating the famous World Cup moment with Terry Butcher. And we'll be saying a big hello to Ken Hoddle. Hello, I'm Ken Hoddle. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, some of you will remember years ago when we were on before, we had footballers on who just said hello to us, but we ran out of them, and now we've just got people who sound a bit like footballers. <laughs> Ken Hoddle didn't sound a bit like anyone. No. <laughs> Ken. He's really cool, Ken Oddlow. We've, yeah. we've got his ID. That is, uh, that's his... We've <laughs> <laughs> got club bingo card from 1974. Anyway, here's uh, a few things we noticed from watching football this week. Now, people say that Glenn Hoddle's faith healer, Eileen Drury, is a phony. But it was her power alone that convinced this man to get out... <laughs> A word of advice to Ian Walker's wife, Susie. In future, if you really want to bring your husband good luck, it has to be real wood. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So it should be, hopefully, touch wood. Might win something. <laughs> and in a shock announcement, Gaza has said he is quitting English football and he's now working in Spain as a referee. annoying it is for substitutes when they can't get their tracksuit bottoms off quickly. Tonight, we can reveal that the Spanish FA are experimenting with a new method for solving this problem. Stato, mate. Oh, the whole nation you? is glad to see you back, mate. What, what have you been finding in the papers this week? Well, I found this one that Teddy Sheringham's friends are saying that Teddy was more interested in playing Scrabble than pulling the birds and drinking on the recent Algarve trip. Martin Bellamy, who was a friend for ten years, said Teddy drives us mad with his Scrabble. He's even bought a travel set with him. We played for hours, he always won. God, he was driving them mad, wasn't he? <laughs> He's bonkers. Talking about Teddy Sheringham and, and wordplay, did you know that an anagram of Teddy Sheringham's stato was Heard Shag Dirty Men? <laughs> Gorham is Randy Mong. <laughs> it isn't actually, but it ought to be, I think. <laughs> now, um... <laughs> don't work it out. It isn't. Trust me, it isn't. Uh. Now, the way, um... 
Oh, by the way, I wonder, that, you know that bullfighting clip we showed? Yeah. I wonder what happened to that bloke's pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to him. It really was his pants. Yeah. On the bull's head. Ah, oh, marvellous. I've had a horn in my pants, of course, many a time. <laughs> Get on. That's what they Get want. Get on. Now then. <laughs> now, one of the things about this show being live now is that sometimes things will happen in the studio, you know, there'll be noises off camera or whatever, and you get a bit panicked, but you just have to carry on as if nothing's happened. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. Anyway, this is former South African football <laughs> debut. But uh, why I say that is because the good box is under point. Under point of workers. <laughs> Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we love that clip. We love it. We watched this at home and we said, they won't laugh at this, no. but we like it. Yeah, we like it. <laughs> <laughs> that, you watch the eyes. Let's see it again. Watch again. Watch the eyes. You must hear something. Find that point up. Well, yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, yes. Oh, he's terrified, it's isn't he? Just... <laughs> what, what, what are you so upset about? Who can say? We don't know. We don't know. But basically, we're going to throw this one open to the nation. If you think you know what frightened <laughs> chip. <laughs> <laughs> Us on 07070 782 886. <laughs> oh. Who's that? No, it's from ITV. <laughs> Oh my It's Bridget goodness. Nielsen as Jean Michel. <laughs> <laughs> You took my glasses off. God. Oh, I you Did you see off. what? 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 Me? Did you see what? <laughs> <laughs> what is what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what is what? Bridget, you're gonna have to stop bending over at some point. <laughs> what is what? <laughs> Help me out, guys. What is what? <laughs> what is what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bridget, you're frightening me. <laughs> Oh, Good no, evening, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, Does that oh, suit you, actually? Yeah, it suits you. Yeah. I don't like them, though. You have them back. Thank you. And what is what? She's mental, but she's on now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, manager, has the silicone gone to your head, or what? <laughs> First of all, silicone is an old do. It's right. a salt and water that's happening. Okay, right. And I <laughs> have to be the one. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> to take that money from ITV now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, uh, Jean Michel. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't notice you sneak in there, but. Um... Yes. <laughs> so the yeah. World Cup's about to start, Jean Michel and He's... Bridget. Make the hair yeah. a little bit more. You too. <laughs> <laughs> I think Germ Germany lost two wars already. Yeah. So it's time now for them to lost and one. Italy World lost Cup. against the Swedish. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> Can I ask you, have you ever seen uh, have you ever seen Babies and Butthead? What? <laughs> Bridget. You know what this what this is called in Denmark? Uh no. An English pie. Then he then he <laughs> Sure. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure. 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 I'm not
også end den lille søn, der siger, hvad vil du have? Bridget. Bridget, sit down. Bridget. 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 Is it going to be a strike? Is it going to be an Air France strike? Yes, uh, uh, it's a never-ending strike, and if everything a goes never well ending tomorrow, strike. we should have the strike also having been oh, strike. God, no wonder the deodorant's not getting through. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's all. There's, um, I'm glad he laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> we were over in France. We were over in France checking it out before the World Cup. We went to Bordeaux. Didn't we? we did. It's, have, you, have you been to Bordeaux? Yes, of course I have, but for something different. What did you go for? <laughs> Wine, darling. <Wine. laughs> we did. We went for the Bordeaux Zoo. Which really? Is a, yeah, it's a very fine thing. What did is... you see? Well, here's the brochure. Yeah, we saw... Um, so there's one that? picture in the brochure which worried me a bit. This is supposed to attract people to Bordeaux Zoo. Here you go. Yeah, it's, a... <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little girl in her pants with a big snake. There it is. And there's another picture, actually. Another one of a, a hippo trying to eat a bloke in his pants. <laughs> If you look, those are those blokes' pants. They're very slender. That's the sort of pants with just string on the side. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all suitable for uh, hippo swallowing pants. <laughs> I'd wear a bigger mm. pant with a belt that, if you got stuck, people could take you out. That's a good idea. These people don't think it through. So, Bridget, Bridget, something like but you have your own chat show in Denmark. Yes. Yeah. Is that right? You, you, do you always? They show ask your... you a question. Yes. Yeah. In your, In your own, own time, time yeah. <laughs> what do you hate the most? Uh, I shouldn't answer that at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you normally... He's a great star, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Let's make an effort and applause our hands and go. You're a great boy, Thank darling. You. Thank, Thank you very much for You're that. You're going to make it in the TV series. Have you, have, you, uh, <laughs> have you just got back from Bordeaux? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you did. What didn't you do? Um, well, what was with the reason? Uh, what, what, what? Why exactly did Sylvester Stallone divorce you, Richard? <laughs> Wait, that's a very, very easy answer. Is it? Ask him. Okay. <laughs> Yes, we guessed. <laughs> Thanks for coming, John Michelle, by the way. Um, you see a lot of funny moments on Chat Show, but I think the funniest moment ever was on this Polish Chat Show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love that. <laughs> Have we got Song. one now? Some might say bad taste. Yeah. <laughs> not us. <laughs> no, indeed not. So do you think... So what um, you say? France are playing Denmark. Jean-Michel, what do you think? France, will they beat Denmark? No. I don't know. What is yes. the general... <laughs> What's the general feeling about France's chances in France? Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt, but... France's I... chances in France? Yes. Yeah. That's well a done. tricky kind of... I just France's wanna... yeah. chances in France. I just want to hear what's on Radio 5. I'll, I'll be oh. with you in a minute. Let's hear it again. 5. David Mellor talks about a dry footballing subject. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Well, quite frankly, I wish I had a pound for every football trust executive committee I've attended. 
Well, I stood up and lobbied for just such an injection of cash to help finance a more careful vetting of the turnstile operative. I just can't believe it. The World Cup is starting tomorrow. Well, exactly. It's all very well. The Taylor Report! <laughs> very well, we have safety recommendations, but if you haven't got a sound financial structure with which to... You get players like Roberto Carlos and Ronaldo... I mean, no doubt, you've read the government white paper concerning this matter. <laughs> I, I, I myself had drafted to committee stage five years ago. Del Piero is at yeah. all those sorts of... Oh, come on! Of... Come on, it's your programme. We want your views. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I should tell you, Dave was in makeup for two and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> now, Saudi Arabia are in your same group as France and Denmark. Is there any truth in the rumour, Bridgie, and this could just be gossip, oh, that a Saudi Arabian prince once offered you a million dollars to sleep with him? A million dollars is not that far away. You don't have to go to Saudi Arabia to no, find no. a million dollars. Just go to no, ITV. Yeah, but... <laughs> Clip, Dave. Okay. The thing is that they're a bit touchy about sex in Saudi Arabia. And their last match, actually, the crowd got very excited to see the first ever Muslim streaker. <laughs> Michelle, are you doing any of your spectacular big gigs during the World Cup? Uh, yes, I should do a, a, a concert involving DJs and a, a kind of happening for the final. Oh, with I mean, the big the last, light show? Yeah, yeah right. uh, by the Champ de Mars, yeah? the Eiffel Tower, yes. Cool. So, What's yeah, it's a it's di different, different kind of uh, uh, show from and concert from what I've done before. It's a lot of... Um, Techno music, DJs, yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's oh. a kind of electronic you're night. You're the visuals, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Big light shows, and yeah. that is your speciality. Well, have you ever yeah. thought about doing an unplugged at all? <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's actually, this, this project is a replug concert. The replug concert. Because yeah. right. you, you've done the ITV theme music as well, That's haven't you, right. for ITV's coverage of the World yes. Cup, which is your song, Rondo. Rendezvous 98, yeah. No, it's, a, it's a, uh, uh, an existing song that we, we remixed with uh, Apollo for 40. We Let's should have a listen, yeah, we, we should. Let's have a listen to Ron Davey. Mm. Because I'm in charge of the closing ceremony and you are in charge apparently of the opening ceremony. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. It's fine with me. Oh, well, yeah, I should lovely. say, we haven't actually got the ITV title sequence to show you tonight, but um, we've put together our own thing for Rendezvous and it's called, uh, it's called Big Rendezvous. <laughs> Got any uh, new stories to tell us about? We can all discuss mm. together. Well, I was just looking at this one, uh, which says that Geraldine Hart has been given a yellow card by her boyfriend uh, Rory Evans uh, for yelling out the name of Michael Owen whenever she makes love. She starts with quiet whispers and ends up shrieking, Owen! God. <laughs> Thank God she doesn't fancy David Seaman. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go out with a woman that when we, when we, uh, I was with, I was with, I won't tell you. No, no, I, did, no, I, did, I was with, I was having, uh, I was having um, sex, right, and uh, with this, uh, with someone, and uh, she started. Was it a man or a woman? 
well, no, you'll see. And, uh, <laughs> she started shouting, Shearer, Shearer. I said, we haven't finished dipping you yet. Oh, <laughs> uh, are, there any, are there any footballers' names you'd like to shout out while making love, Bridget? Well, I can think of only one. Who would that be? Ronaldo. Ah. What about you, Jean-Michel? Me Jean too, me too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he's the most brilliant football player. He's I believe a great that. Player, Everybody yeah. disagrees with me, but he's still very young. He's got a lot to do, but he's a brilliant football player. Let him mature, that's correct, but he's also a nice guy. He's yeah. a very nice guy. We sang Brazil to Yeah, we had a lovely evening together. And we were singing Brazil. It could have been fun. Da da na 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 da 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 Exactly. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a nice evening. Is that the doorbell? <laughs> 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 Frightened of. <laughs> and now, World Cup Phoenix from the Flames. <laughs> from the Flames. Phoenix from the Flames. So, Terry. We're going to recreate the moment when you bled more than anyone's ever bled before on a football pitch. Yeah, and it was also in a game when England happened to be wearing the whitest strip they've ever had. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a day for the blokes who liked wearing all white. You've got the Swedish coverage then. Yeah, well, we're uh, big fans of their presenters. I love a hundred tall agripits of police, and man hope as a prestige on the interest of the state of the US and the United States. So that man builds a character, and then for man to go after what some hand of the the coming up in tight match to you. Eh, English man, you know, and tactic, the man. OK, let's do it. Uh, Dave, you be Roger Lung, who knocked the ball up. Um, I'll be Johnny Ekstrom, who went up with you. And uh, you be Terry Butcher. All right. Play Arnie Hagerfors. Can't have a ball then, Fritz back there. You can't have a ball off, then, Fritz back there. So, after that, my head wouldn't stop bleeding. <laughs> it must have caused quite a stir. Yeah, it was such a talking point that Swedish TV had to draft in a couple of extra presenters. Barns var farligast när han var stillast. Hon la inte stack för mig och han försökte tycka att det var inte stann av den längre. Nu ska vi upp till pressrummet som i normala fall är på råsorna inte befolkas så förskräcker mycket folk när det är alls. Det är bra med hur det är klämmens flera gånger om här. Vi har ju ibland. Jo, kollega Agne, Steve, jag drar oss undan. Varsågod, Agne. Vi ska ta över och vi ska presentera inte mindre än fyra stycken för det. You're going to be all right, Terry? Yeah, I think it's starting to stop now, so I'll be all right. So anyway, Terry, could you still head the ball? <laughs> well, I had to improvise a wee bit. <laughs> so, uh, Terry, what did you do after the game? Well, I went to hospital, but before that, I did an interview with Swedish TV. Pringle cardigan of fling with the spade inlet. Mm, flirty, 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 Edinburgh woolen mill. Mm. Mm. Anyway, uh, we have with us now England hero Terry Butcher. Terry, how is your head feeling now? Well, I'm still a little bit tender and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Stop bloody, bloody, never oh. get it out. Oh, bloody, bloody, absolutely ruined. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We haven't talked about the match yet. England's got a great chance of qualifying. We've only got one game left. Vi har Steve Hodge, 16 landskamper för England på besök idag i Kavai. Thanks very much to Bridget and Jean-Michel, thank you. Thanks a lot, enjoy the World Cup. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow's guests are Jerry Halliwell and Ken Hoddle. Who could that be? No idea. All right, Jeff. Hello. <laughs> have you, um... I was, uh, I was wondering, have you come as the little girl from the Bordeaux Zoo brochure? <laughs> I sure have, mate. I sure have. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's gonna happen Knowing that the time is right